Roshana Guy, better known as Shauna, grew up in Country Club Hills, Illinois, and was introduced to music at an early age by her father, blues legend Buddy Guy. By the way, you look at me. Shauna told All Hip Hop that her dad was displeased with her desire to pursue a career in the rap industry, but as a teenager, she went against his wishes and teamed up with fellow rapper Latifah Harland to form the group Infamous Syndicate. At the age of 19 and six months pregnant, Shauna and Latifah got signed to Relativity Records and started working on their debut album. They visited Hot 97 radio station, and that's where Shauna met one of the station's DJs, who was going by the name of Chris Lova Lova. We now know him as Ludacris, of course. After the interview, they exchanged contact information and kept in touch. Infamous Syndicate released their only album in 1999 called Changing the Game. She and Latifah split up, and after getting released from their contract, Ludacris contacted Shauna and asked if she could record the hook for his new song entitled What's Your Fantasy? The track was featured on his 2000 album, Back for the First Time, and became a mainstream hit. Shauna later signed with Luda's Disturbing the Peace record label, a subsidiary of Def Jam South Recordings, and became the first lady of the label. She had hopes of becoming a global superstar, but sadly, things didn't go as planned. After two studio albums and right before a collaborative album with Luda was set to be released, Shauna abruptly disappeared from the industry. Before we get into today's video, don't forget to grab something to eat at rrgsnacks.com, our online concession stand that has an assortment of beef and bacon jerky, cookies and cream popcorn, and green apple licorice. Almost immediately, Shauna was featured on several of Luda's hit songs, including Get the F Back, Stand Up, and Pee Poppin'. Finally, in 2004, she released her debut album, entitled Worth the Wait. The album featured several prominent artists, including Luda, Missy Elliott, and fellow Illinois rapper Twista, to name a few. That same year, she was also featured on Def Jam Fight for New York. Shauna told the Progress Report YouTube channel that, at some point, she gave birth to her second child, and it was tough for her to be away from home and miss out on her children's milestones and school performances. Um, I worked hard, and um, the sacrifices I made have paid off very well. I was able okay. to raise them, you know, in good schools and, you know, get not yeah. spoiled. I do spoil them, I ain't gonna lie. For sure, for sure, it's your kids. Yeah, but, you know, I'll be able to maintain, you know, never have to need anybody, which is a blessing. My son actually has special needs, so I'm a special mm. needs. Yeah. Wow. So that, that made it even harder. In 2005, she recorded the song Getting Some, which features a too short sample. The song was included on Luda's Disturbing the Peace compilation and was a surprise hit. It was eventually certified platinum, and in order to capitalize on the song's popularity, the label scrambled to release her next album, Block Music, which dropped in June of that same year. By this point, her dad had a change of heart. She told All Hip Hop that after seeing all the recognition she had received, he became more receptive to her career, and they even collaborated on the songs Can't Break Me and Chicago. Gettin' Some was given new life as a remix featuring Luda, Pharrell, Lil Wayne, and Too Short, and Shauna could see exactly which direction her career was headed. She didn't want to be solely known for having raunchy lyrics, and she knew it was time to explore more in-depth topics. She told Routers, Fans are tired of hearing rappers talk about being the top chick or the richest rich or the one with the most diamonds. She also promised fans she would be releasing a new mixtape, and she planned on releasing a third studio album. But in April 2007, she confirmed to XXL that she was in the process of leaving DTP. So what happened? Shauna told XXL the label signed a bunch of new artists, like Bobby Valentino, and Shauna said she was no longer a priority. There were also some changes at Def Jam South, and executives Kevin Lyles and Lior Cohen were no longer in charge. With new personnel in place, Shauna felt like she wasn't getting the attention she deserved. She said Def Jam South dropped the ball when it came to promoting her second album. And even though Gettin' Some was one of the hottest songs of the year, the label didn't put any effort into the music video. 
Shauna added that when the album dropped, her team had to scramble to book her gigs because Def Jam South wasn't interested in anything she had going on. They didn't even call her in for a meeting. Shauna told Double XL she still had love for Luda, but the entire label situation wasn't working for her. She needed to move on so she could continue making music and make money to support her children. She said Luda understood what she was going through and he encouraged her to pursue other options. They were still on good terms and still had plans to team up for an album called Battle of the Sexes. Luda told WrapUp.com that the album would consist of him and Shauna going head to head. While recording Battle of the Sexes, Shauna told Vibe magazine she was going through personal issues. She added, I was dealing with a demon. It was really driving me low into the ground. I was stressed out. I couldn't eat. I couldn't sleep. I couldn't think. I said, I can't do it. During that time, she also found out she was pregnant with baby number three, and she didn't think she would be able to perform any of the tracks with a big belly. Instead of telling Luda about her concerns, she packed up and went back to Chicago and stopped returning everyone's calls. Shauna described Luda as being deeply hurt by her actions. While in Chicago, she kept her pregnancy a secret. She told Vibe her dad didn't even know she was pregnant until after the baby was born. When Battle of the Sexes was released, Shauna was removed from the majority of the project, and other artists were featured instead, like Nicki Minaj, Eve, Trina, Lil Scrappy, and Lil Kim, to name a few. In the aftermath of leaving DTP, there was one person who had her back, T-Pain. Not only did he offer her the support that she needed, but he also signed her to his label, Nappy Boy Entertainment. I'm pulling out Sean Dawn, listening to Lena on. She attempted to keep her career on track by teaming up with other artists like Trina, Lola Monroe, and Twista. However, she never released a studio album on T-Pain's label. She told All Hip Hop the dark side of the industry became too much for her to deal with, and it destroyed her passion to make music. So she took a job at a club owned by her dad and focused on raising her children. In 2014, she decided to jump back into the music scene. She had a new song called Gettin' To It, which was making waves in Chicago, but she wanted to bring it to a larger audience. She decided that that year's BET Hip Hop Awards would be the perfect place to return to the stage. While en route to the ceremony, she received a call that she was being considered to be featured in the show's rap cipher. Shauna told All Hip Hop that once she arrived at the venue, her manager pulled her aside and said, Our PR person just got word from BET that you have been denied access to the red carpet and the BET Hip Hop Awards. Shauna said her whole world stopped. She was embarrassed, hurt, and angry and she blamed DTP co-CEO Shaka Zulu for blacklisting her from the event. According to Shauna, DTP was in partnership with BET for the festivities, and the label was given authority to choose who could attend the event. And as for that open spot in the rap cipher, it was reportedly given to Lil Mama instead. Shauna told All Hip Hop she had been nothing but cordial to Luda and the entire DTP family since her departure from the label, and she couldn't understand why they would stand in her way and take that opportunity away from her. She said, I wanted it to be a situation where we kept it cordial and walked away amicably, but when they made this move and took this shot at me, they knocked the top of the pot off. Shauna continued on her grind by releasing songs and working with other artists, and in 2019, she got booked to perform at a venue. And guess who also got booked? Luda. She told Rolling Out they both decided enough is enough. They approached each other, hugged it out, and squashed their beef once and for all. These days, she and Luda are tighter than ever, and they frequently perform all of their hit songs together. So what's Shauna up to these days? In a 2020 interview with Rolling Out, Shauna revealed she was still working on her third studio album, which she named Voodoo Child. She also has a cosmetics line. She's the CEO of Guy Entertainment Group LLC, and in February 2022, she teamed up with 2 Chains and Fabo for the song Neighbors Know My Name. Her children are still her top priority, but she's still looking forward to reclaiming her position in the music industry. She said, so all I ask from God now is guidance to be the best mother I can be, but to also be embraced in this game again. Let us know if you're shocked by what happened to Shauna. And thanks for watching RRG.